All right, we're at the Cover Your Pergola booth here at Deck Expo. And what we're here to talk about today is several different options to cover your wood pergola, aluminum pergola, whatever you have. Um, you may either have it existing and you're like, man, I wish this was waterproof, or you want to build one and make it waterproof. So we're going to just dive kind of right into the three different options and talk about some of the specifics. Let's start with this one over here. What are we looking at? So this one's just kind of our Apollo kind of entry level system. Uh, basically, all of our systems that we have are going to be eight mil in thickness. We do have thicker material and things like that. It's just going to be a special order or anything like that. Uh, basically, the whole aspect of this, it's like I said, entry level. So you got a plastic basin cap that conjoins the two sheets together. You got on the edges to cover the ends of the flutes. You do have this U profile and it's going to be all plastic. So plastic U profile, plastic basin cap. Now the way it's fastened, fairly simple all you do is screwing in directly through the sheet and that's how it's fastened you follow this pattern that we give you for you know whether the size is um, on the dimensions you just follow that pattern and that's basically how it's fastened down this system right here either is going to come in four foot wide sheets or six foot wide sheets so with the twin wall and things like that this is just kind of our Apollo entry level system now over here we do have the Hercules system that's going to be our premium system. It's going to be the same thickness, an 8 mil, um, except you're working with the twin wall. So two walls of polycarbonate on that system, and then you have four walls of polycarbonate on that system. So uh, the Apollo system is conjoined at the end of the flutes with plastic. This one, you're going to have aluminum to cover all four ends of the sides of the structure. Um, like I said, four walls of polycarbonate, so a lot stronger, a lot durable. So how that system is fastened down with uh, screwing through directly through the sheet, you have clips on this system to hold that standing seam down. So you screw your clips down and it basically acts like a hook to hold the standing part of the sheet down. Um, like I said, then you snap this connector on top to make it 100% leak proof. Aluminum, got edges to cover every aspect so that nothing is going to be completely open. And this one is our Olympus system right here. It's kind of our platinum system. So we have our entry level Apollo system. You got our premium uh, level Hercules system, and then you have kind of our platinum Olympus system. Right here, it's gonna look a lot different from the other two systems that we have. It's gonna have like a glass look to it. It's still gonna be polycarbonate. It's still gonna be 100% UV rated, just like all the other systems that we have. It just got a, a complete different look to it. So you have aluminum that's gonna cover in between the sheets and on the ends, and that's basically what it is. Um, as you can see right here, it's not going to have any flutes or anything like that. So, like I said, it does give that glass look to it. It's very appealing to the consumer's eyes and all that, except you, with no flutes and all that, it's going to look like glass. So, really good system right here. So, two questions that we get a lot of is, will this reduce the heat or is it going to make it hotter under here? So, can you answer that um, to your different panel systems? What is the heat going to be like in the hot summer days? Yeah. So the thing about polycarbonate sheets, it's going to be a different aspect and a different look to it. With polycarbonate, you're going to allow that natural sunlight coming in. So if you look up, you can see kind of that light coming through and things like that. So with our three different colors that we have, the clear, it's going to drop temperatures, you know, roughly about five degrees and things like that. And then we do have the bronze, that's our middle option. It's going to drop temperatures between 10 and 20 degrees and block about 60 to 70 percent of the sunlight coming in. So you're still going to, you know, going to get a good chunk of light being blocked but still gonna let that natural light come in. And then we do have that white, like I said, not transparent. It's gonna uh, drop temperatures between 15 and 20 degrees, and then also gonna block about 80% of that sunlight coming through. So with all the three different colors, depending on which one you get, yes, it can drop temperatures and it can reduce the heat under that as well. And what do customers need to know about maintaining any of these systems? So basically, I treat polycarbonate, it's really strong material, it's not going to break or crack or anything like that. You can walk on it as long as you have support. So with your structures, I would recommend having a pitch to it. Any kind of roofing system that you have, you don't want to put on a flat surface just because you got hail, snow, uh, just anything of those aspects and weather-wise, you don't want it to kind of sit up there. So with this system, as long as you have a slope to it and it like any kind of water that kind of gets on it, it naturally it cleans it but you can also go up there as far as maintenance wise and kind of wipe it down and walk on it if needed so so how are we going to mount your patio cover or pergola to your roof um, really depends on what your roof is and the pitch all of that kind of stuff there's a lot of variables that go into it one option that we really prefer is called the sky lift system um, we're here with the rep today let's talk about that sky lift system so yeah, the, uh, Skylift definitely gives a different look to the to your outdoor structure or anything like that. If we look out here, if your house is right here directly next to the pergola and you don't want to have you know two posts right next to your wall, you can have these Skylift systems right here. Basically what you do is you're creating a hole through the roof. 
you take off your shingles, take out the plywood and things like that, and then you literally mount this directly on top of your wall bearing. And you wanna make sure that you mount it on top because that's gonna be the one that has the best support. It's gonna be able to allow for the strongest support for your system whenever you do. Kind of put your cross beams on there and things like that. So you just, like I said, cut off a hole to where you can make sure you can fit this in there, screw, screw it and mount it down. And then just depending on whatever size of the structure or how the roof is pitched, we do have these in 12 inch and we also do have them in 18 inch as well. So whatever you're needing, we can accommodate to your needings. So after you put this on there, like I said, then you put this boot on there that has the silicone rubbering and then you just mount it directly on top and then just basically cover it all back up and make sure it's completely sealed up. So the benefit of this system, we've seen a lot of failed systems, but what we really like is that this is getting mounted directly to your actual wall and then it's gonna get properly waterproof you have the boot flashing here. Um, you see these on every single roof in the Northwest. Um, so you have this, plus your roofing then gets roofed around this. So this is not only a leak proof, but it's guaranteed to be strong and sitting on structure. Cool. Ooh, that was rad. Awesome. Got some good content.